Welcome back. A Utah man is alive and well thanks to a bone marrow transplant. He had lymphoma but couldn't find the proper bone marrow match. Mary Nichols has more in this Check Your Health report. Cancer is... Cancer is ugly and... Will Clark has seen the ugly side of cancer for the last eight years. In 2006, he was diagnosed with lymphoma and would undergo surgery and chemotherapy. He said, oh, this is going to keep it away for at least 25 years. And about eight months later, I had a lymph node flare up again. Will's cancer fight would spill over into years. Despite chemotherapy and radiation, the cancer wouldn't go away. And his doctors were running out of options. The doctor told me at this rate, you know, you're not going to see your uh, 53rd birthday. There was one possible option for Will, a bone marrow transplant. Will didn't have a 100% match, but doctors at LDS Hospital told Will he could still get what's called a haploidentical transplant. Here, doctors can use bone marrow from someone who is the closest match to help destroy the cancer cells. And what it means is that if a patient needs a transplant, unless they are an orphan, they will always have a donor because a parent or a child will always be a donor. Dr. Finn Peterson is the director of the Bone Marrow Transplant and Acute Leukemia Program at LDS Hospital. He says this transplant can give people like Will hope. It's an exciting uh, new technology because in the past, we, if patients didn't have a donor, we were stuck and we had to accept that patients would die from their cancer. Now we can always find a donor. Will should know later this month if the transplant was a complete success. He says he's ready to move on and leave that cancer behind. When they walked out the doors, when they checked me out, I was checking the cancer out too. I was leaving it right here. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. LDS Hospital started doing this haploidectical transplant about two years ago, and they say so far, so good.